Well, I'm here at the stunning Mar Lodge estate, the start line for the first ever Fjall Raven Classic UK. Ahead of me, I've got 65 kilometres through the stunning wilderness of the Cairngorms National Park, and I'll be joined by 200 other trekkers who've come here from all over the globe. I've got my bag packed, all I need to do is get registered, and I'll be on my way. Wilson. The concept of the Fjallraven Classic goes back to 2005 when the first trek along the Kungsleden in Swedish Lapland was organised. It's been staged there just about every year since. And there are South Korea, Denmark, Germany and US treks now too, with Scotland obviously the latest country to join the list. In simple terms, it's a trek through nature. You carry all you need on your back and Fjallraven take care of the logistics including freeze-dried food, route planning, on the trail way marking and so on. It's not a competition or race, it's a chance to socialise with other hikers and just enjoy the trek of a lifetime. So we've come to the end of day one on the Fjall Raven Classic UK and it's actually been a really, really good day. Probably one of the best days of hiking I've had in a long time. Kind of for a number of reasons as well. I think, first of all, the landscapes, kind of as expected, have been absolutely incredible. First of all, starting out in the Caledonian pine forest and then walking through that and then bursting out to suddenly see the mountains ahead of us. And um, then as the day progressed, we kind of got swallowed by the jaws of the Larry Grew. And then I guess the other reason it's been so good is the pace of it all, because this is a 65 kilometer track spread over three or four days. So actually we don't really need to hike that much each day. We're covering quite small distances really. And that means it doesn't feel like a race or a test of endurance. We're, we're going at a nice steady pace. And if we want to stop and have a good two hour lunch or I don't know, stop and dip our feet in a river, we can. It doesn't feel like we need to keep moving and keep moving really quickly. And that's been really nice. It's been made for quite a change compared to the stuff that I normally do. And I think the final reason I've really enjoyed today is hiking with people from all over the world. We've met so many people today and by the end of the day, kind of come to recognize a lot of faces. And it really does seem like there's a spirit of the trail. You can really sense it. So yeah, day one has been really good. And I think um, day two should be good as well. But it's time to get into the tent, get a good night's sleep, tuck into some of the whiskey we've got. And is this your first time in Scotland or? No, uh, I've been here, this is my fourth time, but it's my second time trekking. Okay. So you must have been coming here to help plan the whole event, right? Yes, yes. Okay. 2019 I did the first uh, route here in the area when we did the test, uh, test trek. And was the Cairngorms always the place that you had in mind for the first ever UK Classic? Yes, we, it was our first idea because this is such a nice area. It's so very typical Scottish and, and a UK well-known outdoor area with a, with a, like a long alpine tradition. Uh, but of course, we're always looking at different areas. Okay. Yeah. And what do you think um, has been special so far about, about the track? Today I uh, heard one, uh, one of the women that I met that had a really good saying, which I think covers this day very good. And she said that, oh, today we've had eight seasons, because that's how it's been today. Yeah, we had, felt like we that. had a quite a rough morning, 
uh, with wind, hard wind, rain, quite cold. I think everybody was like wearing their full gear on. And then we had uh, a little bit of sun and we've had forest and fantastic views. So you have a lot here, which I really like. When you start to enjoy nature, you realize that the peace that it gives you yeah. is something that you can bring back home. Yeah. Right, well, I'm not sure how far we're going today, but... Until your feet are sore enough and you're yeah. tired and want dinner. <laughs> well, we, need to do, we need to get some coffee, we need to get some food, and uh, we need to replenish our whiskey supplies, unfortunately. Oh. We've got through oh. it all. Oh, already? Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks. So that is the end of day two on the Fjall Raven Classic and it's been another very good day. It started off pretty wild, we woke up in the Larry Gru, which is a infamous glen and the wind was kind of being funneled right through it, wind and rain battering us all morning. But then after that we descended right down to the Rothy Mercus forest with its ancient Caledonian pines and that was really atmospheric. I think um, the, the group of hikers on the Classic had spread out quite, quite a lot by that point. So it felt like we were walking by ourselves. It was very serene, very tranquil. And now we've come up past Glenmore and we've just kind of rounded the bend to start making our way back towards where we started at Mar Lodge. And we've got this great place for the night. Just watching the sunset now and we're about to get the stove going for our meal. For me, it's pulled pork. Yeah, it's going to be a good night. <laughs> well, earlier on in this hike I talked about how I'd learned to go slowly, appreciate my surroundings more and not rush things, not feel like I need to race through the day. But today the wind and rain was so strong that the only option was to rush things. And we powered on through to the finish and have made it here to the finish line to complete 65 kilometers in, I think it was three days of hiking and two campouts. And what a journey it's been. I can see why people get hooked on the concept of the Fjallraven Classic and end up touring, it, touring around the world, visiting it in different countries and gravitating toward the Swedish event as well. I've liked what I've seen here. I've loved the vibe, loved the atmosphere and the, obviously, the scenery has just been incredible. The first day going up through the mountains, straight up through the glen, and then bursting out into the forest. We've seen a whole variety of the Cairngorms and it's just been a brilliant way to see this national park. Now it's time to put my feet up. 